what I'm going to do, I want to keep my options of using a serial and a parallel connection. So I'm just going to cut these two wires here and I'm going to put a new connector. And then I, I will be able, this connector, I will be able to connect this parallel connection. And I'm going to put a connector in this side. So then I'm going to use, be able to use a serial connector. I'm going to show you another nice thing before. If you don't want to cut the wires and you don't want to do any mode for the car and you still want to use a single battery, a single 3S battery or a single 4S battery on the car, like I did, I'm going to show you why I took off the hood of the battery tray. You will need to close this wire. I'm going to show you on the drawing. I'm going to show you exactly the same what's going on in the Acme. We have the ESC and we have minus connector and a plus. Minus goes to the plug of the battery. Okay, and this goes to the other plug. This goes back. So this is the serial connection of the Acme. If you want to, uh, to use a single battery, if you connect only one battery, the circuit will be open and the car won't run. So you need to close this part. So what you need to do, you just make a closure. This closure is very simple. If I take, let me look for another P-plug. There we go. You take a female T-plug and you just solder both of them together. And then when you put it on this side, right here, this is will close the circuit. It will be like this. And you will have a single battery connection. As you can see, the minus goes here and the plus goes here. So you, you will be able to connect a single battery. I can show you how it works. I have 3S battery right here almost empty but it will work as you can see if I connect only one it won't work I will put put the closure here and as you can see it works okay very good but I will give you a small warning this is of course only for a serial connection if you put a shortage here on a parallel connection you will just show the plus and minus and if you have a battery connected you will show the battery so you will have some sparks so make sure you only use it on a serial connection as I showed you only on the original plug of the car not a parallel if you have a parallel connection you don't need to close anything because as you can see it's parallel so you can just connect a single battery don't need to close the, the circuit parallel like this one not the best drawing but this goes to one of the plugs and this goes for the other so anyway you will get the connection you want, don't need to close, only on a serial connection. That's it for the explanation. Now it's about time to work on the car. So first of all, we'll need to cut the wires, but leave a room to work on.
I'm going to give links to everything you see in the video, the solder iron, the shrinker, uh, how I uh, built this third hand. I'm going to start by putting some soldering flux. When soldering a connector, I like to put the, the other connection connector in so it won't move inside plastic. So, first of all, On the connector itself, there is a marking, as you can see, plus, minus here, so we start. Okay, give you a closer look. As you can see, very clean job. After we finish, let it cool a bit. Don't pull the shrinker yet, because if it's too hot, the shrinker will just shrink before see, it's okay. So we let this one cool side. And now solder this side. And that's it. All done. Remove this plug. Let it cool a bit. Now we pull the shrinker. The soldering. It shrunk a bit because of the heat of the wire. It's a very short wire. But it still goes on it. You can see now we use shrinker, a heat gun, very cheap and very good heat gun. That's it. 
again a closer look. We can put the cover now. Huh? Most of the connection, the connector, the XT connector doesn't have this cover, but this XMAS has. Really like it. You don't have to use the shrinker, but it's better than to use it. That's it. So now you can use a single battery with XT60 plug. Uh, I have it's quite a large battery I have here. This is a 4 s battery, so we can connect, test it. As you can see, turns on. And you can use this parallel connection. This is I bought already made. You can make one, but it's easier just buying one. And you can use serial connection. I'm going to show you how the serial works. As you can see, you can use only a single battery if you use a parallel connection. Okay, but you don't need. You can connect directly to the ESC. This car is one on a 4S battery, so you connect two 4S batteries. You can get a very long runtime, and you can use 3S battery like I have used. So this is how the serial plug looks. I'm going to show you if I connect 3S battery like I did before. And you need to put the shoulder and you can start the car, starts. Don't put two 3S batteries in a serial connection. You will get a 6S battery and you're probably going to burn the ESC. So don't do it. Only do 2S battery in a serial. And in parallel, you can put 3S, you can put 4S in the parallel connection. So that's it. Okay, last thing I wanted to show you is how to put the uh, bigger batteries in the car. This is not really a mode, but uh, it still works pretty fine. In the run video, I have used the 3S battery. This one connected in that way. And it just works. So it's very simple. I just unscrew the cover of the battery tray here. I just put the battery this way on top of it if you want to do a bigger mode you can cut this plastic part the battery will sit inside this will be good for uh, batteries um, size like this one 1500 and you can put two in the parallel connection as I showed you it will be just fine and how you hold it inside, very simple. There is a lot of stuff you can do, better stuff than this one, but this one I wanted to do a fast mode so I can show you the video. Just double sided scotch like this one, measure the size. Cut it to the length you need. Very easy. And just hold it like this. Very easy. Takes a few seconds to do it. And you have you can put another battery in this side in the parallel connection or serial connection, depends on the battery you have. And it just works. You saw in the video I jumped with the car, I took a tumble with the car, the battery holds pretty fine. As I said, you can cut this place if you have a smaller battery that fits inside like a 4S battery in this side or a 3S but make sure it's not uh, too long it will be inside, it will be very nice even in these setups it's a bit unbalanced because I only have a single battery it runs just fine and that's it so let's do a rundown what we saw in the video first I gave you an explanation about uh, the LiPo batteries 
Then I showed you how to change the plug of the car. As you saw, not very difficult, but don't forget the rules about the shortening of only the serial, not the parallel. Don't put two 3S on a parallel. And that's about it. Hope this helps you. Hope you enjoy the video, and I see you guys next time.